So you want to know, how does my day as an Amazon solutions architect look like? Let's find out. But first things first, let's change something much better. Now I'm in my official AWS gear. Let's get started. So first thing in the morning, I'll check my uh, mailbox uh, to see if there are any emails that requires my immediate attention. And also I check what other meetings I have uh, throughout the day. After I do that, uh, generally in the morning, I'll block my calendar for an hour or sometimes hour and a half, unless there are some other meetings uh, to prepare for customer meetings. So customer meetings are the most uh, important task uh, for Amazon architects. So generally uh, I handle three different kinds of customer meetings. Uh, the first kind is a meeting with executives, senior managers uh, to talk about cloud strategy. I actually have one of, one of the executive briefing in a little bit. Uh, so I'll go over what, what topics I'm discussing so you guys and girls will uh, get an idea. A second kind of meetings, which are the most common for my role uh, to talk about uh, system design in the cloud. And the third type of meetings, customer meetings that I handle are um, workshops or hands-on demos. And again, there is no secret sauce really for this. Uh, you just have to study. Um, so that's one thing about uh, any role in Amazon or AWS is uh, you have to be constantly learning and be curious about new technologies. Um, and I, as long as you do that, you will do fine. Next, I jump into this executive uh, briefing. Uh, so the CIO uh, from the customer side is attending the meeting uh, as, as well as some of the executive directors. Uh, so the level of conversation is very high. Uh, so that's one of the thing, if you are a solutions architect, um, not only you need to know the details, sometimes uh, folks focus a lot on that, uh, but also it's equally important to um, talk in a very high level so that uh, the higher management can understand the value of the cloud and the value of the architecture. Uh, so in this particular meeting, we are discussing total cost of ownership uh, when it comes to serverless. Uh, so this particular customer is uh, thinking of adopting serverless first approach. Uh, so basically um, they will use Lambda or Fargate first before uh, maintaining any server. Uh, so I'm going through this uh, cost report published by uh, Deloitte uh, where they compare different kinds of architecture running on traditional servers, EC2s, serverless, uh, and then the cost of maintenance, cost of patching, cost of infrastructure, compute, etc., cetera, um, and then do a total cost of ownership. After that meeting is done, uh, jumping into a team sync call uh, where we all discuss uh, the interesting use cases we are facing in the field, uh, and my manager wants to know if I am facing any particular blocker that he can help remove. Uh, we catch up a little bit with the team members, uh, etc. Lunch time. So I'm not a, a great cook, but I'm an average cook. I'll generally get some prepackaged, half cooked food and then cook them on stove top. Uh, this is also the time my dog loves. I'll generally play with her during the lunch time. She loves this uh, dirty little ball of hers. And uh, yeah, that relaxes me before I go back to work after the lunch. In addition to handling customer meetings, uh, my role also includes creating technical content, uh, both for internal and external audiences. Uh, so now I'm actually creating a slides uh, for the internal SA and uh, technical account managers. Uh, so in this particular slide, uh, I'm comparing serverless and container. Uh, so I am a specialist uh, in both serverless and container. So this is one of my favorite subject. I face these questions from customers a lot whether they should use Lambda, EKS, ECS, Fargate, etc. Uh, so I'm just putting down my decision points and what criteria I use, uh, and I'm gonna share that with the broader community inside, uh, so that might help them in their customer meetings. I'm also working on a blog, uh, so I'm just going through uh, the design part, uh, making sure that it sounds good, making sure it's understandable, uh, for everyone and that it's easy to consume. 
Uh, so I'm just tidying up the blog. Hopefully the blog comes out uh, soon. And when it comes out, I'll share with you guys and girls. Now I'm jumping into AWS console to prepare a, a demo for a customer. Uh, so this particular customer uh, wants to see the new step function visual workflow in action. Uh, so I already prepared the demo. Generally, you don't start preparing for the customer meeting on that day of the meeting. Uh, generally, you prepare before, but on the day of the meeting, uh, you brush up, right? So I have this demo. Um, hopefully, it works in front of the customer. Uh, so I'm just going through it to make sure everything is hunky-dory. All right, now I'm jumping into that system design call with customer uh, with a little bit of demo. Uh, so in this particular call, I'm talking uh, what is the function, what are the use cases, where should they use it, uh, what are some of the anti-patterns of step function, etc. And also, uh, I'm giving the demo uh, that I prepared earlier. For those of you who wants to know, uh, the demo went smoothly. So it's always a little bit of nerve-wracking to do a live demo in front of the customer. Uh, but I'm glad it went well, and I think customer liked it. So this is generally the last activity of my day. I put down the notes from all the meetings uh, throughout the day, the feedback, the things that I need to follow up on, uh, some stuff a customer mentions, for example, uh, like a feature that customer wants to see in a particular uh, service. Uh, I will note that down and send, send an email to the product team uh, along with some uh, use case and some background. After I log off, uh, I try to go to the local gym for workout. Some days I go, some days I just become lazy and skip the workout. Here's a Raj doing 3.6.15. Go Raj! Also, Amazon is hiring. Uh, if you think what it takes to be an Amazonian, uh, check out all the open job positions. I'll give a link. Uh, to the open positions in the descriptions. Uh, you can bring your dog to Amazon office, uh, but not this one though. Uh, she's a little bigger uh, for me to take her to the office. But yeah, check it out. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. All right, guys and girls, that's the video. Hopefully you found it interesting. Uh, hopefully now you know a little bit more about me and my uh, daily life. If you find this video uh, helpful or interesting, uh, please click that like button, smash it if that's something you are into. Uh, ask me any questions in the comment and subscribe. Uh, each like uh, helps YouTube algorithm promote this video and puts it in front of other new viewers. Uh, this is still a relatively small channel. Uh, we are trying to grow so that we can do even more awesome things. All right, guys and girls, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.